Hi, welcome to this overview of SAP Business One HANA Workbench or Workflow inside the HANA cockpit. What we see in front of us is the SAP Business One HANA cockpit. This happens to be version 9.1 and we can see the Fiori style dashboard with our KPIs as we scroll down. We can see some of our dashboards and widgets. What we want to focus on today is the workbench or workflow processes. So what I can see in front of us now is the financial purchasing stock management and sales process, which is essentially workflow or workbenches. So these are the four that are offered by SAP at this point in time in SAP Business One version 9.1, and we can modify these four processes. Let's get a bit of a better understanding of how they work. Let's focus on the purchasing process. I can see in this instance, we start with a purchase request, becomes a purchase order, a goods receipt. Now obviously I can click on, for example, the purchase order icon. It'll take me directly into a purchase order inside SAP Business One. I can also click on the blue button. It will take me to other information, for example, an open items list, which is, might be the related information that I'm looking for in this instance. From here, double click sort, drill down to the document that I want into that particular document. Alternatively, I might be looking, for example, from here for a lost prices report. Let's go in customer, item, and let's have a look at that information. There it is. So again, what we're seeing is quick, easy access to information as it relates to the purchasing process. In that instance, information that related to the purchase order. So these processes allow us to help users to understand what the standard purchasing process is. Now, through the editing of these processes, if, for example, our business doesn't start with a purchase request, but rather a purchase order, or skips the purchase request and purchase order altogether, then I can modify this purchasing process to reflect the way that we do business in our business. But this is the standard one as it's given to us by SAP. So these are great indications. You can put these processes, the sales process, the stock management, the financial process, or the purchasing process onto a user's cockpit and it enables the user to go directly to the information they want or the related information. Another example of this, go directly from here down to our purchasing reports as an example. So this is a great example of what SAP is doing to help the user with just great ease of use and the ability to move around the system without even having to go into the menu structure in these instances. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there's a lot of additional information available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.